my name is MJ and welcome to my channel. Today is April 12, 2020 and it's about 10 a.m. I just wanted to give you guys a, a preview of this um, research website that I use. Basically it's connected to my Bank of America. It's uh, the Merrill Lynch uh, website and this is my account and this is when I trade um, this is when I do some of my initial research and I just want to give you guys a walkthrough of what's been going on as well as my thoughts and I, I know I haven't posted a, a couple times last week and this past week so to do a recap basically unemployment six million um, claims and that just went off the roof with uh, 16.6 million jobless claims and it's crazy number two are the um russia and saudi arabia war with oil um undercutting everybody so in lieu of that let's just take a look a peek at the the what's what's trending on google so bloomberg says Mexico's in the picture too. I'm not really 100% sure what's uh, going on there, but I think uh, it has something to do with uh, Donald Trump involving their uh, their position in the whole aspect of things. So I'm not going to touch up into this. All I know is it's very complicated, and it's um, because of this they can't they can't uh, agree on. Um, whether they produce more oil or stop producing more oil uh, re resolutions with uh, prices and things like that so that's that uh, I wanted to touch up on the what which should have been the basic thing to think about from the from the start of uh, the recession the uh, Maslow hierarchy of needs um, on the as you can see here in the bottom let's go through the let's go through the um, the the stages here so on the bottom is physiological needs and safety needs number one, let's let's just agree that these three maybe the third one could be somewhat of an essential intimate relationships and friends of course um number two the second uh second from the bottom security and safety could be um pharmaceutical needs medicine um things of such and then physiological would be food water uh, of course water everybody's been buying water food and um basically food water clothing and shelter shelter I would say it's going to be um, not of an essential. I know people have been, I digress, uh, people have been getting evicted and that's that's very sad. Um, though builders, home builders are not going to be able to build ho homes at this point um, for obvious reasons. And clothing would be something that um only online retail stores can probably take a take a take um take a say on it because most of them are closed right now food and water uh positions like that that's what i wanted to consider when researching this so sectors let's see sectors in the past month Materials, energy, utilities, consumer discretionary, healthcare, consumer staples. So, I want to say consumer staples. Let's see. Um, I would say these are more, these are not growth stocks, but definitely going to be on the stable kind of stocks not really high yielding as you can see it's in the it's in the middle of 
the sectors here, communication and services. It's kind of weird that it's all the way there because we still we do still need to communicate with each other more importantly now than ever. But materials and energy is uh, has been up. So three months ago, it looks like this. Um, this is this is uh, around February. So utilities, consumer staples, real estate was up. IT and energy was down here at the bottom. But now things have been flipped. So going back to food and staples, stuff that stocks that you would want to consider possibly, other than the 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 ones that took a hit for maximum yield, food products. Let's see. This is uncut, by the way. I'm not going to edit it as much. And performance. Let's go to the SMP. Basic criteria sector. Save screen. So this um, website, Merrill Lynch, has the ability to filter stocks like this. So I went to food, I went to price performance, I can go to the, um, the highest yields, the, I think I want to go to, hmm, according to, there's also, um, Analysts by B of A, Morningstar, and CFRA. I think I want to go to. Where is it? Let's just go to versus SP. Bridge Food Food Core. And Tootsie Roll Industries, okay. I doubt that those are necessary stocks, but what I was pertaining to was, uh, I know Tyson Foods makes frozen foods of such. Um, I know my favorite, LW, has been doing okay. Uh, they, they, their business is basically it's very genius I've been sticking with this uh, with this stock for a while now for a couple of years now and basically their their uh, business is they gather up all potatoes from the United States they freeze it they don't store it they free they do f store it after they freeze it um, they freeze it and then they they sell it and monopolize it and sell it to um, Canada and most of North America they do have uh, some exports overseas but not so much so this past week they they did fairly well about 10 points and overall since the crash I know we all know that these are uh, ballooned valuations since January December January and February and then it crashed so let's take that in consideration that valuations during you know the peaks were probably not real um, that's just my two cents but for the most part, we just got to make the the, um, the evaluation to take the average. So that's it for me, guys. I know this is kind of lengthy for a little review. And thank you guys for watching. And if you guys have any questions with Mary Lynch or any stock finances, please uh, consider uh, giving us a comment and giving this video a like.
We really appreciate it. Consider subscribing too. Thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a great week. Safe week. Cheers.